Welcome back, first timers. Spring has finally sprung, and you know what that means? It's time to hit the beach. And today we're going to show you how to pack a beach bag with everything you need for a fun filled day at the beach. But that's not all. We're also going to stop off at our favorite place to get a sandwich, but it's also an iconic beach sandwich location here on the Emerald Coast. is a beach bag. Any kind of bag will do, but I like to use a backpack because it's easier to walk through the sand with it strapped to your back. And also you want to make sure that you're not bringing a bag that is really nice or that you don't want to get dirty because sand will get everywhere. And the sand here is super fine, sticks to everything, you can't get rid of it. Next up, you're going to need some beach towels or a blanket or something to sit on. These towels came from Sam's Club. They're pretty large, but you can get them from anywhere. We were thinking about buying a sand cloud. It's like a giant beach blanket that is supposed to be really easy to get the sand off of. We haven't made that purchase yet. Let us know if you'd like to see us check that out. You're also going to want to bring sunscreen. The sun out here is pretty intense, so make sure you bring this because you don't want to get burnt and ruin your vacation on the very first day. Speaking of sunscreen, you're also going to want to bring chapstick, but a chapstick that has sunscreen because your lips will get burnt too. You also might want to bring a Bluetooth speaker so you can connect your phone to it and have some music while you're chilling at the beach with your friends. Try and keep your volume at a reasonable level and don't annoy the people next to you. You should also bring a trash bag because a lot of the public beach access areas don't have any trash cans. And you want to keep our beaches clean and so you want to take out whatever you bring. Speaking of keeping clean, maybe some sanitizer wipes because there's also no sink or soap out there. And you might want to wash your hands before you eat. Like I said before, the sun can be pretty intense so don't forget your sunglasses and a good hat. And a waterproof hat will be your best friend out here. If you're like me, I typically just wear my bathing suit to the beach with a pair of shorts and my bikini top. But you should also bring a sweatshirt or some sort of cover-up because if you want to go get drinks or food after the beach, you're going to want to put a shirt on. It also gets kind of chilly at the beach at night, so a light sweatshirt is a good option. Speaking of bikinis, another good reason to wear it is because there's not always a good place to change. And you guys know I like doll bikinis, that's my favorite, but if you have one that you'd like me to check out, leave a comment down below and let me know. And then you'll want to throw in your ID, a credit card, and maybe some cash. But don't forget your cooler, we're going to pack that next. We use an Arctic 30 can soft sided cooler. It's pretty roomy inside, it is waterproof, and it floats. We've had this Arctic cooler for a couple of years now. It's pretty nice. We did have some issues with the zipper. It, you're supposed to keep it well lubricated, so maybe that's a user error, but it did break. So it doesn't zip as well as it should, but it still gets the job done. If you have a recommendation for a better cooler, let us know in the comments. In your cooler, you're gonna wanna pack a lot of water. It gets super hot out there and you wanna stay hydrated. But you could also pack maybe some beer or seltzer of your choice. But just be careful about bringing alcohol to different beaches. The state park beaches do not allow alcohol at all, but the public beaches do. But none of the beaches allow glass bottles. If you want to bring hard alcohol to the beach, maybe check out 98 Distillery's Half Shell Vodka. It's packaged in a cardboard container, so there's no glass to worry about. If you want to check out the video where we went to their distillery, we'll link it right here. But you also might want to have some other beverages. Like maybe our favorite non-alcoholic, non-CBD drink, Moment. It helps us relax at the beach without a hangover. And if you want to check out a video where we did a review on Moment drinks, you can check it out right here. We also have a coupon code and a link in the description down below where you can get a discount on your orders. And to keep our cans cold, we're going to bring some Slim Can coolers. Also, I would recommend bringing some sort of shade. There's absolutely no shade at the beaches unless you're under one of the pavilions. So we have a Nesso tent that we put up at the beach, and we'll show you that in just a few minutes. Now, how are you going to lug all this stuff down to the beach? I've got a solution for that. You're going to need to get yourself a beach cart. Well, it's a little windy and cold, and we're not to the beach yet, but we're stopping off at that popular local mom and pop shop to get sandwiches from our favorite place. None other than da -da -da, Publix Deli. I know what you're thinking. How can a grocery store have the best sandwiches? They just do. They bake the bread here. The produce is always fresh. They have all kinds of sauces and creams and condiments that you can add to it. You can upgrade to boar heads meat. It's amazing. So we're gonna try a couple of their subs, take them to the beach, and try not to freeze our tails off. 
the best part is you can come here and get a sub. You could also get chips, fruit, veggies, drinks. I mean, the options are literally endless. You can get subs that are pre-made. You can get pre-packaged deli items. You can get hot items, chicken, chicken wings, ribs, all kinds of stuff. But we're here for the subs. So like I mentioned, they bake the bread right here and you can mix and match whatever you want in your sandwich. I'm gonna go with the ultimate, which comes with turkey, ham, roast beef, and I'm going boar's head and adding bacon because bacon makes it better, baby. Terry, what are you getting? I'm gonna try out their chicken tender sub and I'm gonna get the bacon chicken ranch style. We haven't ordered yet, but we already picked out some chips. We got some zaps and some dirty salt and pepper chips. Be prepared when you come at peak times like we are right now, there can be a little bit of a wait for your sandwich. You can order online and pick up right here at the deli. We usually do that just so we don't wait in line, but we wanted to show you the process and show you the options. While this is our favorite place to get sandwiches in Fort Walton Beach when we're going to the beach, we're actually also looking for top places in Destin to get sandwiches. So if you have any recommendations, go ahead and put them in the comments below because we're gonna be doing an upcoming video where we check out all the top sandwich spots in Destin. Secure the goods. We're gonna check out and get to the beach. We made it to the boardwalk at Okaloosa Island. They have a pretty huge parking lot, but it does fill up really fast during the summer. We're here right in the middle of March and it's still pretty busy, but we we're able to find a spot right away. We've done a bunch of videos here at the boardwalk. If you're interested in looking at one of them, we'll put one right here. As I mentioned before, we've got a cart with nice big wheels that we use to lug all our stuff out to the beach. It goes down the ramp just fine, and the big tires really help it through the sand. We did bring our tent with us, but it's a little windy today, and I don't think we're going to be able to put it up, but we'll see. Beach Club and Burger Bar is open and operational. It's not crazy busy right now, but we're still really early in the spring break season and summer's just right around the corner. So when you come down here, water is generally really calm and it's like a nice warm bathtub, but this wind's kicking up, the water's kicking up, and there is a lot of wave activity. Single red flag today, but you gotta be aware of the different flags. Double red flag would be closed, but man, some of these people are gonna be out here surfing. It definitely looks a lot like the Pacific Coast rather than the Gulf Coast. It's definitely too windy for our tent today, but we're gonna go ahead and set up our towels, get our sandwiches out of the cooler, and chill at the beach. So we ran into some of our subscribers from Indiana. I've got Heather and Eric here, and they're first timers out here in Florida to- First time to Fort Walton Beach. We just got here and we surprised our daughter, like just pulling up at the beach and she didn't take it too well. She's, I think she needed a nap or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's a long drive. <laughs> yes, it is a long drive. We made it and came straight here. You've showed us so many cool places. Well, I hope you guys enjoy your vacation. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's time for us to crack open these moments, bust into these sandwiches, and lay out by the water until the rains come. Or at least until the wind goes away. If you like this video, check out this video right here, where we successfully put up our beach tent at Shell Island. Thanks again for following along in this episode, and join us next time when we try something else new for the first time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. First timers. High five.